All right, hey guys, what's up? Kyle Regal here with the second, well, the, the third video for the 99 Day Challenge. Um, calling it Yoga Strength TV, welcome. And the questions we have today are from a friend of mine, Mr. Talman. So we're gonna answer those for you today. And uh, the three questions are right here as we have them listed out. What is the best yoga to start with? What if I'm out of shape or overweight? What do I do then? Is it okay? And three, I was a little un... It's more of a statement you put, so I created the own, my own question out of the statement you put on there. And that is, is yoga a good option if I would like to increase the overall, you know, position of my health? So, what is the best yoga to start with? Excellent, excellent question right there. I love it because it's kind of, to me, like answering, Kyle, I want to start exercising what should I start to do first? What's, what, what would you recommend? Well, depends on who you are. Talman, I know you are, as far as I know, you like to run um, and you like to run. So maybe you're not going to like, you know, if I were to tell you to go do Bikram hot yoga, that might not be, I want to, what I want to do is offer you an insight to choose a particular style of yoga that you will enjoy. Okay, as with anything in life, we would like to find joy in the activity that we are doing. So there's a bunch of different types of yoga out there. Now, because I know you relatively a little bit, I know you like to run, I know you're a, uh, excellent in business, and you're a hypnotist as well. So I would recommend for you, because you're a runner, I would recommend either a gentle yoga. It's going to be it's going to be a gentle class. You're going to enjoy it. You're probably going to experience some type of meditation throughout the class. Um, just a gentle introduction to yoga would be a great first class for really anyone. If you're and you are a runner, I would also recommend what I told Carrie to go do, which is some yin. Um, you sound like, at least from your videos and speaking to you over the phone, that. You're a pretty high intensity guy. You know, you're a fiery sort of um, personality. So you, you want to do a counterbalance in that type or a counterbalance to that natural type of personality with some of the exercise that you're doing. So we've got a runner. You're a runner. We know that that's a very fiery, active, just let's go get them kind of exercise. So in order to increase that, right, in order to increase the size of the fire, we need to add more fuel to it, okay? And in some cases, and especially what I've personally found with yoga, when you add more fuel to the fire, you basically we call that, we'll call it wood, right? Well, what is wood created out of? Wood is created out of, you know, essentially Mother Earth, nature, right? It comes from the earth. It comes from what we could, let's call it a cooling aspect of life, the world. So, Yin, gentle yoga, cultivates that within us. It creates that cooling, that calming, that sense of peace within us, which then yields more free space in our mind, in our heart, in our soul, in our body, whatever you want to call it, which yields to better, higher performance when you're running. Because if you can get a clearer head from a yoga class, a yin yoga class or a gentle yoga class, and it sets you up and you're focus clear for the day you're set you're ready to go you're going to be that much more focused that much more driven clear-headed inspired to run faster to show up to the business meeting better you may have more clarity in your mind in your head that will from the yoga from the yin that will create a better business idea create something more it's about creating space it's about creating that cooling, if you will, of our fire, okay? So that's what I would recommend for you and really anybody who's looking for, you know, I've never done yoga before, what do I do? Well, do number one what you're most attracted to, okay? Just do what you're attracted to most. If you've had a curiosity for Bikram, go do Bikram. If you've had a curiosity for Vinyasa flow, go get some of that cardio dance, whatever. Just do what you're most curious about first, okay? Now, if I'm overweight or out of shape, is yoga something still that will work for me? Absolutely 100%. 
Um, with anything in life, it's very important. It's better to get started and take a little bit of action than to not get started and wonder, you know, if I'm choosing or selecting the right, the particular best thing for me. Just, just go get started. Um, if you go into a yoga class and, um, you know, maybe you are overweight, you've got a big belly or a gut or, or hips and butt that you're not a, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to flex in these positions. You know, just go see the teacher and ask her like, hey, am I good or him? Am I going to be able to do this class? Is this class, you know, can I do this? And they should be able to talk you through and, and say, well, I think so. You know, this is going to work for you. Or how is your body feeling? Or is there anything I need to know about, you know, do you have any injuries? Um, is there any limitations that you know that you may have? They should ask you, but absolutely, just as anybody can walk into a gym and begin working out no matter, well, I shouldn't say no matter, but with, you know, moderately um, unhealthy states of overall health, anybody can walk into a yoga studio and, and find a class that will work for them. Now, is yoga a good option if I would like to increase my overall health? Absolutely. frickin lutely I'll tell you this. So, personal story with me, I was actually diagnosed with Crohn's disease back in 2008, okay? I started practicing yoga in, it's 2015, whatever the math is, 2011, which right at that time, I had, I had weaned myself off the drugs and medication I was on f to compensate for the symptoms that I was experiencing from Crohn's disease. So I also started juicing and learning a lot more about micronutrients, whole nother story there. Um, but I started practicing yoga. Why? I was already in shape. I was already healthy. I was already, you know, experiencing all of that, but I wanted to increase the overall state of my health. Now I'm harping on runners, doing a couple videos today. I did carries. He's a runner. Telman, I know you're a runner. It's definitely going to help you guys to do some yin classes or gentle classes that are really gonna get into your hips, stretch your hips out, and open that up a lot. You guys are gonna find a lot of relief in, in that, and then overall just have better performance. So, is it gonna help in your overall health? Absolutely, I think it will help in your performance across the board. Go do some yoga. Thanks so much for the questions, and look forward to answering more soon. I'm out, see ya.